Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's another day in paradise. Um, what we're gonna do today is basically give you a little advice on basic electrical tools and what you need if you wanna do electrical work in your, in your home, on your own. So some of the basic electrical work that you know you wanna perform in your house, basic electric, electrical tools that you can use that way you have them and things like that. Me, I always carry my whole, I have a big Milwaukee backpack where I carry all my tools because I feel more comfortable carrying my backpack, my back, that, that way I can do different things like I take a ladder down, things like that. I don't have to worry about my back. So, you know, this is how my bag looks like. Some of Milwaukee bag, backpack. But at the same time, like when I'm going to apartment buildings like this today, my next appointment here is um, apartment building. So I have a little small bag that I carry I want to do things like that you see like little husky handheld backpack uh bag that way i don't have to take all my tools because i have you know, a lot i got like wrenches and things like that so i'm gonna you know i'm gonna show you basic uh tools that you that you can take when you go appointments like that things you actually can have a little small bag at home if you want the electrical like changing switches and outlet like changing covers and things like that so first i always take my drill you know and the good thing with this one, it has both flathead and Phillips at the ends. So this is good. Um, my next one I'm gonna take is my 11 in one. Y'all know I can't live without this. This is my main, my, my main friend. Like I use this all like 24 seven when I'm at work. So of course, some electrical tape. You never know. That's always very useful. Um, if you have a drill, an extra battery, you know, um, my multimeter, um, I recommend, like I love this one. Uh, my multimeter, I love it because it's a, it's a Klein, it's a Klein tool, uh, multi, uh, multimeter. It's a Klein multimeter. And the cool thing with this one, it has a magnet. So I can put it anywhere, you know what I mean? Like if I'm working on an electrical panel, I don't have to hold it and things like that. So I can just, you know, it has an amperage, to read amperage, continuity, and all those things, you know, MFD, if you want to check text capacitor when you do an HVAC. So this this one is actually pretty good for electrical and HVAC. So that's good because this one, it, you can attach the, you can always attach the, the temperature probes on it too. So you can test temperature. But I can also, it's another one. Of course I have a little pouch for it, you know, always keep it safe, especially like I've, I've this has lasted me a long time i've left it in the rain and thanks to this pouch it didn't get messed up another thing you want to take um pen tester uh it's a little basic tool uh you don't want to use it too much because sometimes there's always sometimes even though the power is off you think power you think power is on but it's actually off so you always want to check with your multimeter make sure you actually have 120 volts or 208 whatever but if you want like basic, like if you're changing a, a switch, you want to know which is your tab, a traveler, and which is your actual power to the switch. So you can use this to see which one has power or not. Well, which one it doesn't. If, especially if you're doing it with the breaker on me, I'm not scared. So I always do it with the breaker on, like first in an outlet, a switch and things like that, GFCI. I do it with the power on because I'm not scared about it. I'm used to this, but always respectful. The thing is electricity, respect it. If you respect the electricity, it's not going to bite you. So just like, just like a dog, but I use this, it's a common tool to have. Also helps a lot. Uh, pen tester. Um, also a, a pair of strippers. Um, of course, most of my tools are Klein in Milwaukee, so a pair of strippers. Always, you never know. Um, basically, and of course you, a knife, um, a razor knife. Always, you never know when you have to like cut tape or a wire or strip it if you don't want to use strippers. I mean, I just always use my clients, which is basically another common tool you know, I'm about to show you here somewhere. A pair of clients. Uh, people call them um, um, line mans. I call them clients. I got used to calling them clients. I call them clients. You can call them line mans also. But I call them clients. So, so far, so good. So, of course, is there other tools that I would need? I, you know, I'll excuse myself and basically come get what I need. But basically, that's gonna get me in the door. And if I need a basic tool like that, it's gonna get me through. So, 
So far, ladies and gentlemen, see right here, handheld bag, everything's inside. You can put extra stuff if you want in there. For me, I'm pretty basic. I don't like carrying so much, uh, so many things, especially if there's an apartment like this, especially this. I've been to these apartments before on other ones, and they're fancy, old carpet and everything. So I don't want to take my big bag and have dirty anything like that because, you know, I got to put booties on and things like that. You know, always, if you're, like, if you're a technician, an advice, always carry booties. It makes you look really good when you go to a customer's house put booties on it makes it basically it's you showing the respect to the residents and they love that so that gets you in the door um and things like that and it basically makes you look good and one thing i will show you always carrying your bag a little extra extra you know extra because we always need as electricians we always need it needed um guess what it is ladies and gentlemen wire nuts wire nuts are always useful i love this ones i love the tan ones because they grab in uh, grasp into anything so you can put them in the smallest wire and it will you know grab into it that's why there's a little pouch and put it in there also like kind of like an electrical tip uh tip on basically your basic tools of electricity always respected always you know don't be scared of electricity. Um, I'd rather do electricity than plumbing. It's plumbing, something goes wrong on there. Then it carries a big, big mess. Give me one second, I'll be right. I'm back. Um, sorry, I have to get something from my truck and things like that. Um, so, like I was saying, never be scared of electricity. Um, just respect it. I like can never get carried away with it because that's exactly how you get, how you get hit, you know, with it. As long, you know, if you're really scared of doing it, like if you're not confident enough to change and replace a switch or an outlet or a light fixture with the power on, just simply turn the power off. It's not that hard. Um, if your label is properly, if your panel is properly labeled, you shouldn't have a problem turning the breaker off. It's properly labeled. If it's not, then basically you're going to be playing walk a mole with it, turning it on and off. Um, but anyways, that's a little tip on how to do electricity. Uh, you probably see more videos later on on basically how to I put you know how to replace a, uh, a switch or an outlet or a GFCI or you know things like that you probably see me posting videos like that about it but so far that was this little blog on how to do your common tools your basic tools to do electricity and your basic tools your basic tools to electricity and a little tip on how to do electricity work right so ladies and gentlemen i hope you liked the video hit the thumbs up uh leave a comment if you'd like to know more about electricity plumbing or hvac i will more than gladly to answer or do a video about it um y'all have a great wednesday take care peace out my people love you